Praise the Lord, everybody. Someone shout hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a hand for our Archbishop? Come on, give God a good shout to the man of God. Hallelujah. He's always laboring so much for you. And that needs to be appreciated by people and by God. Hebrews 6.10 says, God is not unjust to forget our labor of love. He rewards us. And further down in the chapter 6 of Hebrews, it says that it talked about Abraham. And whenever Abraham is mentioned, it's usually financial blessing. How many would like to serve God enough that he makes you rich? Let me see your hands. How many would like to serve God so well that he blesses you beyond measure and you don't even know how to explain it? Let me tell you, I'm a testimony. Something happened for me yesterday, Archbishop, and uh, a few days before that I can't even tell publicly. It, it's too big. <laughs> a long time in the making. But the Lord spoke to me about operating and walking in supernatural faith. Someone say supernatural faith. Sufficient for the day is what comes in the day. So in the day you need to work all you can and extend yourself and expand everything you have. Lift your hands if you heard me. For tomorrow the Lord will visit you again. Hallelujah. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. And we can never forget that. I had that experience again just yesterday. I can't tell the testimony now. It's too big anyway. I don't have time either. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Father, as you bless me, Bless your people. The Lord spoke to me while I was coming uh, about a financial breakthrough that's coming for people, an economic uplifting that's coming for people. But you have to see it. Mark 11, 24 said when you desire something, you have to pray and believe you receive it and you'll have it. Daniel eleven thirty two, the second part of the verse says, they that do know that God will be, will be strong and do great exploits. It's up to you to move forward. Numbers 13, 33, as you see yourself, the others will see you. You have to see yourself as great. Lay your hands on your belly right now and just say, Lord, let me see myself as you see me. Regardless of all the circumstances that I see in life, I'm above it. I'm above all of that. Lift your hands. Father, let the presence of the Lord touch everybody. God, I love you. And this is the day and the hour, it says the Spirit of the Lord, when I'm going to begin to pour out my fire upon my elect chosen sons and daughters. And they're going to climb up from where they are and move into the places and the dimensions that I've ordained, says the Lord. And you're going to begin to see facets of new things, breakthroughs of new things that you just wish to see one day. The Lord said, now, this is that day when you're going to see it. I see property. I see land. I see huge buildings. <laughs> oh, I'm a witness. I can't tell it all. I see wealth. I see treasures. I see money. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 talks about hidden treasures, all kinds of treasures coming to the people of God. And God said, by this you'll know that I'm your Lord that calls you even by your own name because I give you this wealth. Ecclesiastes 2.26 says to the one who's good before God, he gives joy and wisdom and also wealth. Lift your hands. He gives a job to the sinner to collect things to give to you. Let me tell you something. The wealth of the wicked, Proverbs 13.22 the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And the Lord says, this is a word to our archbishop. It's, our word. it's a word to me. It's a word to you. 
and the whole house here, and the whole connected family around the, uh, the nation and the region and the world. There's an infusion of power from heaven coming of new things. And God says the wealth of the wicked, they built it, but you will possess it. They built it for one thing, but they didn't know that you would take it over one day. I'm a witness, I'm telling you. If I were to tell. Lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let me, let me drop this mic in a second. Paradana, Shamanuli, Sukodeyata. Father, the heavens are opening. And you're gonna you're gonna locate the faithful sons and daughters that are gonna come out of where they've been. And the Lord says, don't look continuously at what's around you. You need to see the bigger picture. Bishop was talking about destiny. Your destiny is being birthed. I heard that. God says you need to climb up from where you are and birth your future and walk into it and make it happen and believe God, you and God together. But the Lord says, watch for my favor. Watch for my favor. Psalm 512 says he surrounds his righteous sons and daughters with favor like a shield. Luke 252 talked about how Jesus grew in stature and in wisdom and in with favor with God and man. God's favor will, will grant you prosperity. The most highest percentage of your prosperity comes from favor. Lift your hands and say, I receive favor in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Matthew IV and I love you. Blow me a kiss. I'll see you next time. By the way, I forgot to say, uh, Archbishop wrote the forward to my new book. He reprinted my book and uh, it's going to be out in a few weeks, some days, and I'll come back to do a launch. And how many would like to get a copy? You can all get a copy. I'll sign it for you. And we'll have a nice time together. I love you. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive your touch of fire for blessing and breakthrough, abundance, prosperity, miracles like I've never seen before. Speaking today in a new way. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. Prophet Manta for Kuna jua sufi ya mwisho nitasema nini? Nile mwaambia na Mzungu akamwambia. Sasa kama hukusikia mtu mweusi usikie Mzungu. Akasema mbinguni ni ba. Eh ujitayarishe na ujitengenezee.